Earlier this month, Universal Studios released a 60th anniversary edition of Psycho, claiming it to be the long-lost, uncut version. This new edition features only three extended shots, making up less than 20 seconds of screen time. So, what's the big deal, right? Well, let me try to explain. A few years ago, someone posted a video to their YouTube channel showcasing what appeared to be extra scenes from Psycho shown on German television. According to the uploader, this version is common there and wasn't sure why these shots weren't in the standard US edition. This was a surprise as many were under the assumption the version commonly seen in America was the uncut version. Was it possible the version of Psycho we have seen our whole lives has not been the original version that shocked audiences in 1960? While very minuscule, there were three scenes in question that presented extended shots not present in any U.S. cuts of the movie, dating back to its earliest home releases in the 1980s. You've seen the shots, but here's what they look like side by side with the standard version seen in the U.S. for decades. Many speculated on the history of these shots and how they were present in some international prints, yet absent from American versions. This year, for the film's 60th anniversary, Universal restored these shots and released the film as quote-unquote uncut for the first time in the United States. But is that really the case? Were these shots included during Psycho's original release in September of 1960? Possibly. Some speculate these shots were removed for the 1965 re-release, which would become the basis of all home video versions in the United States. The claim is, Universal simply forgot it wasn't the original version and claimed the 1960 prints had deteriorated too far to restore once they had remembered. Others claim, with much validity, that Germany and possibly other countries in Europe were mistakenly sent an earlier work print of the film instead of the final release cut. This work print version, reviewed by censors before its release, such as the Legion of Decency, asked for the three shots to be removed so they could approve the movie to be shown to more prudish American audiences. Alfred Hitchcock actually had a habit of inserting shots he knew would be denied by censors in order to keep other shots he truly wanted in the film. Could these shots have been purposely left in the work print, shown to censors, knowing full well they'd be rejected and removed? Regardless of how they ended up misplaced, or what fans decide to call this version, it's certainly a thrill to see new footage from such an iconic film restored back in to appreciate. Personally, the subject of each scene does play into the work print idea, but I'll leave that up for fans to discuss. While checking out the bonus features on this new edition, there doesn't seem to be any new documentary on this uncut version, so this is my attempt to explain exactly how this version came to exist. Make sure to pick up a copy of the 60th Anniversary Edition and show Universal we appreciate the effort they took in obtaining this material and rescuing these extended shots from obscurity. And now that this is out of the way, they can finally get back to what really matters, finding London after midnight. Thanks for watching, and if you like what you see, please subscribe.